And we're live. Welcome to another Common Stack monthly review. Although the, this is a two for one special, uh, we have uh, we were uh, crazy busy in March, so uh, finalizing things. So we didn't end up doing a review then. But now we're getting now you get two months for the price of one, which is really fun because there's a lot going on. Uh, so let's just dive straight into it. Of course, the biggest thing going on in, in uh, the crypto public goods space right now is the fact that Gitcoin is giving away nearly $2 million. Well, it's not just Gitcoin this round. Now they have partner rounds and there's so much going on. Gitcoin grants is crazy right now. Uh, nearly $2 million are being given away in various rounds. Uh, Common Stack is in the open source software round. Uh, we also are in the uh let's see what else token engineering round of course which is sponsored by the token engineering commons which is super cool uh we're kind of on both sides of that round which is fun uh we're also in the meta crisis round uh refi local nodes is popping off there's some really cool projects in there that hopefully one day will become commons so definitely check out that round and we're also in the mantle grants round uh so that's super cool oh and of course uh you don't have to do anything special but we are as you can see by our our beautiful screens here we are definitely dei so that's super cool uh but it's uh definitely get out there and of course don't just donate to us there's a lot of great grants out there in fact uh giveth made a blog post with a nice cheat sheet of all the grant grants in our ecosystem so you can check out this blog post there's this little cheat sheet right here that says in each round the various projects from the giveth galaxy community uh that are uh, getting donations in each round so that's super fun uh you can check that out but you know gitcoin grants is more than just donating and like it's super cool because with just a few donations you are allocating two million dollars it doesn't feel like voting but you're actually voting on how to spend two million dollars on public goods but uh beyond that you also discover all these cool projects so you know uh, go spend some time and click around and see find out about all the cool things happening in the space that usually get drowned out by all the number go up crap uh, also there's uh there's also, uh, the other big news in the grants scene is Optimism Retro Public Goods funding, of which uh, we were very happy to receive so much. Uh, uh, Common Stack received 60,000 OP. We haven't actually gotten it yet. Uh, they're going out in batches. But this is right currently today worth well over $100,000. So uh, this is a huge thing for the common stack. So we can't say enough thanks. And we don't have we, any words that can express our gratitude enough to the optimism community. And of course, the 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 Giveth Galaxy in general was a huge recipient, especially Giveth. The T Academy got nearly as much as we did. Blobs can praise pairwise. Uh, you know, these are projects that are very much very close to us. So it's uh really amazing how much um love and funding optimism has given our community. It really is helping us survive. Uh so yeah, oops, I was actually supposed to show this slide. Uh no, this slide. <laughs> uh, it was this one, this one, the one that's branded for the common stack. Sorry about that. Uh, we're also applying for other grants too. Uh, specifically, we're looking to get uh, the common stack deployed and the whole uh, iteration one of our of our new tech design actually deployed on various chains. Optimism, with all of this generosity, of course, is high on the list. So we're working on a grant to get onto Optimism right now uh, and, and deploy Aragon and the whole smart contract framework, as well as build an incubator. Uh, I think Tam will talk more about that. Uh, on her turn. We're also, of course, really excited to build on Cello and Mantle, uh, uh, potentially. So we're working on grants to get funding to build out the Aragon framework and, and the augmented bonding curve and our incubator program onto these L1s so that we can bring commons to as many blockchains as possible. And uh, also, in other news, uh, we're doing this really cool thing in the Giveth Galaxy called AI April. And there have been uh, some really amazing presentations. Tam great, gave a great overview of how to build a product spec with, with AI. Uh, uh, and Amelia also went deep into uh, the various AI tools for kind of how to improve marketing and, and these kinds of things. There are so many cool projects in general, not just from us, but like 
I, I really love this one by Gil where he just goes deep into how to give good prompts and all the cool tools that you can use like Mac GPT and, and all these things. So uh, we're going to use, we're going to um, par parcel all this into some cool Twitter threads that uh, that will show off all the cool things in AI that the Give the Galaxy is, is discovering. Uh, and with that, I'll pass it over to Tam to talk more about uh, the Commons Incubator and 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 this and Refi, which there's huge stuff developing there. Yeah. Cool. Thanks, Griff. Um, you know, I really miss these. Actually, I can't believe we we missed two months when we used to do them twice a month, and now we moved to once a month, and now it's tw once every two months. Uh, but I hope we get back in the monthly rhythm. So I want to give an update about. Maybe I'll start start sharing my screen. Um, I'm gonna, cool. So I do want to give an update about uh, our partnership, our relationship with Refi DAO. Uh, we spent two uh, months really working with them day to day, and it had been awesome. In January, we announced a joint venture to work on a local node prize and incubator for the big vision of the Refi ecosystem. And it was contingent about being on um, being able to raise enough funding for a operational plan for two years out. Uh, which uh, we didn't hit the target. So we aren't going to continue in that JV, but we're definitely going to continue to work with Refi DAO on many different projects, but especially uh, advising uh, where they need some advice for the, the uh, cultural pieces or technical pieces of the local nodes. Um, the local nodes are actually gaining a lot of attention and traction. They are also in the Refi... Uh, and sorry, in the Gitcoin rounds, there are featured round or a subset round. Um, there is Nairobi and Cape Town, Medellin, many uh, global south regions and cities that want to become part of this bigger refi uh, movement and using the refi DAO uh, incubator to be able to launch their uh, or launch their their local node. Um, there's one more thing I wanted to say about that. Oh, no, no, there's not. But there's one more thing that Amelia wants to say about that. Part of the work that we did together was designing a pre-incubation session. And Amelia did that work. And I'm going to pass to her so that she can share what that looks like. Thank you, Tom. Well, let me share my screen. Uh, OK. So. Okay, and so what we did, and in the context of Paris Blockchain Week, and we were part of the site of the Refi site events. So big praise for Jean, the organizers, and Decentralized Desires for all their hard work. So in partnership with Refi DAO, what we did is uh, hosting a network mapping, a Refi network mapping. So what we did here, we gathered together around 20 people that was interested or around refi in Paris. Most of the people there were in Paris. And we wanted to map all the stakeholders, the problems and the institutions that could help to build a stronger uh, refi ecosystem there in Paris. So we, bunch, uh, we got a bunch of people, we had great food, Later, we have beautiful discussion. It was really inspiring. All the people were doing connections. So it was then we started the mapping while also we joined Great Croissants. So thank you for that, uh, Carda Shift. And then and great, great things uh, came up. Like, for example, Jack from Blockchain for Good brought, brought his deep work on blockchain in impact, in the impact ecosystem. So it was really insightful, everything that came out there. A lot of laughs, it was really enjoyable. And the good thing is that we have this great outcome. So we will leave the all the the, the goal of this net of this workshop was to be able to bring a template so everybody can host a local node workshop. And you will have the description the, the link in the description of the video. So you can have your own workshop. And that was in Paris, and I'll get, I'll get back, I'll pass it back to you, Tamara. Yes. Yeah, thanks, Amelia. Um, you know, this idea of the incubator is it's actually something that the Refi DAO folks, John and Daryl, uh, suggested to us. And it's so it was such a compelling model, the more that we dug into it, the idea that 
we can use our commons design patterns, so our cultural frameworks and the tools that the toolkit that we're building or that we've built to help not just one community, but partner with a movement or with an L1 to help many projects incubate. So rather than one, you know, one community incubating, being able to work with somebody like Cello, which is a proposal that we're working on, to have an incubator on Cello. So any project on Cello. Um, is able to launch their commons so they can collaboratively design their mission state, uh, their mission, vision, and values, find conflict resolution um, solution that works for them, um, work with uh, the principles of commons. So we're making sure that there's uh, um, practices for clear boundaries and for sanction, uh, graduated sanctions and transparency or mutual monitoring. And the idea here is um, really that this, this incubator is something that we wanna keep moving forward with. So we've designed as part of our uh, project with ReFiDAO, the skeleton for the framework, which would be something like eight modules run over 16 weeks, including the fundraise for that community itself. So the community would collaboratively design the parameters for their, for their hatch, for their fundraise, do their fundraise, and then collaboratively design with the token holders the, uh, the parameters of their augmented bonding curve, tau voting, et cetera, et cetera. And um, let's see. So the idea is uh, for this incubator to, to help a, a project run through these different modules, but also to educate people about commons. So the work of Ostrom, of course, but David Bollier, uh, LabGov for urban, urban commons, Peter Barnes, um, Jason Potts, lots of people who are doing research in commons and how that can help people experiment with commoning to, uh, to protect or share or steward their shared resource. So the working title of the proposal that we're working on, I'll share it quickly, even though it's really not totally ready yet. The working title is bringing robust DAO tooling to Cello and launching commons DAOs. And the idea is to make these um, the, the Aragon toolkit available, because this is what we've built our tooling in, but also to attract new projects and capital to Cello uh, by launching Commons DAOs and to have this incubator that um, merges really the mission of Cello with the mission with the, the Commons design patterns of Commons and to graduate a first cohort through the Commons incubator. We imagine it would look something like two cohorts per year, something like three to five projects per cohort, and that um, one of the uh, selection criteria for the, four uh, for the first cohort would pay special attention to diversity, equity, and inclusion. So it's very much in progress, and I'd really like to talk to more Cello projects. I've talked to a handful. So if you are watching this and you are on Cello, please do reach out to me. Um, it, it seems like there's a lot of positive feedback from the projects we've already talked to, but I'm always eager to talk to more. So one of the other things that happened uh, these last two months, uh, I'm taking this regenerative economics course that um, Capital Institute and John Fullerton uh, launched not uh, pretty recently. And, uh, you know, it's been very enlightening. His key point is the human economy is a, a living system. And he defines regenerative uh, economics as applying nature's laws and patterns, uh, self organization, self renewal, and regenerative vitality to socioeconomic systems. So thinking of our economy as a living system um, is, is really foundational and, and requires a shift in mindset around economics, especially. But here is this one quote that made me so happy. And we when we were talking about um, institutions and alternative institutions, uh, he mentioned that he'd been thinking about regenerative economics for a very long time. I think it's been over 10 years. And he can't imagine um, having a truly regenerative economy without institutionalizing commons. And it, uh, dovetails so nicely with the work that we're doing to try to bring the tools to the communities that will be able to launch their own commons, experiment with commons, experimenting with commons governance until we figure out how to, how and where to apply these uh, in our in our economy. Uh, so that's the last thing about, um, yeah, that's the last thing about that. I also want to share a new staffing update. Uh, Osama is no longer on our team. He was our copywriter and junior PM. He was an absolute joy to have around. 
Um, we really enjoyed working with him. We just don't have enough work to support a full-time copywriter, but if you're looking for a technical copywriter, um, I think all of us can recommend him. He's really been a pleasure to work with. And I'll pass it back to you, Amelia, to talk about our branding and website redesign. Ooh. Uh, soon, I will, soon we will be able to show things, but for now, we, I have to keep the, the mystery. But what I have to show today is really important to make the, the, the magic happen and is uh, structuring a launching and having a work plan, a, spec a really detailed work plan on how are we, yeah, yeah, yeah. So now what we did now, we have a really specific Faces and the, uh, with precise deliverables, with timings, and we are really on the last way on our on our work on on our goal of launching a rebranding and a website with a much clearer message and uh, I hope a really an emotional connection with what we are doing. This is really important for us, as Tamara is mentioning. The institutional institutionalizing the commons is one of our our goals, and this is what we want to learn, uh, be able to express how important it is with this. So soon you will have more information and beautiful things to see to to see and enjoy, and we are really happy about it. So that's for me with the rebranding, and I think it's for Ivy. I pass it to Ivy. Yeah, thanks, Amelia. Let me share my screen. All right. Okay. So um yeah, we've got some uh can you see my screen? I think it's frozen. Yep, we see it. Okay. All right, so we, we've got some great news from Trust Seed too. So we're so happy to share the Trust Seed is in the uh Git Points Web Free Community and Education Round, and uh we're seeking your support. Um by supporting our mission, you'll be contributing directly to the growth of our global network. So um funding from uh Gitcoin Beta Round will uh, enable us to uh, level up and um push forward the exciting uh, initiatives that we've been uh planning for this year. So um yeah, uh from uh yeah, the second unconference, the trusted picnic, uh the Catalan social exposition. Uh, the creation process improvement and the uh, developing the uh, reputation layer. So hope you can uh, support us during this Gitcoin round. So uh, please consider donating to our grant. Um, another great news uh, we're excited to share is that uh, Trust Seed uh, has just released their unconference report, uh, which is uh, now available for everyone to read. So for those who don't know, uh, the unconference program took place from November to December uh, 2022 and featured online peer-to-peer uh, -peer, uh, learning sessions. Um, so uh, yeah, the sessions were focused on, uh, you can see here the beautiful designs and uh, on the actionable uh, frameworks for creating a protopian features. And uh, these sessions were facilitated by Trusted Seed. Um, so to uh, ensure that um, uh, the knowledge gained from these sessions is uh, widely accessible, uh, the Trusted Seed has compiled all the insights and uh, lessons learned into a comprehensive re uh, report. So this report is not, it's not just for um, those who attended uh, the unconference program, but also an invaluable res uh, resource for uh, anyone uh, interested in uh, advancing regenerative economics. Um, uh, it covers a wide range of uh, topics from sustainable development to impact investing to diversity and inclusion. So um, this report is uh, designed to inspire our community stewards uh, in the Web3 space and to take their impact to the next level. So um, I'll, drop, I'll drop the link to the report in the description so all of you can check it out. And I pass it back to Griff for uh, uh, other updates. Yeah, uh, I just want to give the ecosystem update for Giveth. Uh, there's been a lot go going on. Uh, obviously, Giveth is in the Gitcoin rounds, just like everybody else uh, in many of them. And uh, we also, this year, we released the GM podcast, uh, We, which I did with one of them is actually with John from ReFiDAO, a really good one to watch. Uh, we also redid our homepage. We have a new notification center, like so that you can see what's happening on Giveth. You get notified of all sorts of things. We just integrated to Polygon and actually... 
like we haven't announced it, but it's live right now. We're already also on Cello. Uh, so you can add Cello addresses as a project and Optimism is coming next. Uh, we we used uh, our, uh, we put giveth in Spanish and now an AI bot translated in into Catalan. And actually we can translate it into any language you want. So just like uh, click up there in the bottom corner, there's a little thing to actually tell us what language you want to translate the giveth application into. Uh, and uh, we launched our own NFT, which is super cool, called The Givers. Uh, this is like uh, this. This this is our uh, first test at actually launching. We launched our own uh, uh, NFT so that we could figure out what it's like to launch NFTs for other communities. So soon, eventually, uh, Project Sun Giveth will actually be able to launch their own NFTs. We're also think considering adding. We're working on adding quadratic funding directly to Giveth, which will be really nice. And uh, and lots more. There's been a lot going on in the Giveth ecosystem. This thread really covers it all. So uh, so yeah. Uh, with that, I'll throw it over to Livia to talk about the the um, TE stakeholder study. Yeah. Thanks, Graf. Sorry, I won't be able to share screen. I'm on the move today, but I want to give some updates that we are on week seven of the token engineering stakeholder study. So we approved this proposal at the TEC to understand what are the challenges and needs of token engineering practitioners. And we've been having a really interesting uh, research process on developing the meta methodology that we're using and uh, understanding how are we gathering the samples? So how do we decide which people we're talking to? And we opted for an emergent uh, sample. So we have a list that was made by everyone in our team and we are interviewing them and they are um, giving options of other people they admire that we should interview. So we are getting a very interesting group of people and it's been an absolute pleasure to have this interview so far. And we're hoping to have the final analysis by the end of June. So everyone will understand what is token engineering? This is our overarching question because we realize that is not clear for everybody and also uh, understanding what are the, the needs so we can create better tools and better roadmaps for the projects that are supporting uh, the field. That's why I have to share a pass back to you first. Yeah, well, there's, no, there's always so much going on oh my video turned off there's always so much going on in in this space and uh and we always get the credit during these review calls but it's just not true we couldn't have done this without the incredible ecosystem that's around us and so uh we like to end with praise uh, i i want to start by praising chat gpt4 and gpt4 in general because like it has been doing so much work for the entire ecosystem uh so thank you to open ai and all the ai builders up there it's been an, an incredible couple months uh also i want to give major praise to yas who's been really helping us with the, with our fundraising efforts and leading leading the charge for the gift galaxy uh we couldn't have gotten the, all that optimism money without her help uh, and Al Jean and Breaches and so many other people who put the legwork in to to get get the word out there that we were in optimism. I, I also want to praise Jahed for uh, coming in potentially as an advisor. We're still talking through him, but either way, his advice in the last couple of months have been really great. Uh, so I want to definitely give praise to him. I want to praise Max and Yene for uh, for working with Ivy to steward the trusted seed. I want to praise Christopher and Justina and and all the developers behind Praise. Uh, for the constant like uh ed new developments they just done they just released a uh discord bot so that you can download so that's super cool uh also major praise to john daryl anna monty marcello and darren and the whole refi community that has uh that we spent the last couple of months working hand in hand in uh the the uh, developments that we made have been like so important for us for sure. And of course, uh, Kyle, Janine, Azim, Kevin Olson, Kevin Owaki, and Scott, uh, all, all you guys, all the, the whole Gitcoin community for sponsoring these Gitcoin rounds that really fuel the ecosystem and the public good space. Uh, to, not enough praise can be given, shout their way. And uh, maybe I'll pass it to Livia. Yeah, sorry. I also want to praise Sean, Natalia, Lisa, Danilo, Mark, Malik, Bear, 
for the amazing work uh, they're doing at the stakeholder study. Tam, you want to take it? Yeah, I'll take it from there. I just want to like plus one or like times two for what Griff said. <laughs> can, we, can we do that? And I, I want to add some more. So Usama, I'd really like to praise Usama for all the efforts and contributions you made in this last almost a year and just always being, you know, bright and shining and, and pleasant to work with. I'd like to praise um, Sam and Christopher. Uh, I was excited about AI, very excited about it, but it was kind of like not the thing that I was focused on. And you guys just really turned it up and got everyone so enthused and excited about it, has shared so many good good information and good links. It really uh, had been a pleasure to, to be in the same channel with you guys talking about it. Uh, I'd also like to praise Gideon, NT, Nate, and Bear. Uh, just their work in the TEC has been really exceptional as coordinators, as leaders, and um, I really enjoy working with them every every week. As well, you know, the people that are showing up in the TEC still, I'd like to praise uh, Minich, H, Henny, J, Henny, Art, Juanca, Marathon Mind. I see you get that guys there a lot and contributing, and that's very cool. Uh, for Refi Dow, of course, I need to praise John and Daryl. You guys have been excellent partners, and we look forward to continuing our work together. I'd like to praise, uh, also praise Anna. Uh, it's been really nice um, working with you so closely and Marcelo working with you, but also sharing the research that you're doing and the projects and the ideas that you are you're working on now has been very cool. I'd like to uh, also praise Andre uh, for just being very inspirational in terms of products, designs, ideas. You know, you're so meticulous and you have such a highly tuned um, sense of aesthetic and I really find it inspiring. I'd also like to praise Jeff. God, I don't see you enough. I wish we could hang out more. You're always available. You're always willing to make time, uh, take, you know, soundboard through important ideas or through different strategies. Uh, same thing with Jawhead. You know, it's the first time I, I asked if I could do some soundboarding off you, and I just found immense value out of that, and I really appreciate that. And then I'd like to praise Lauren as well. Uh, I reached out to her for advice process on a topic, and she was so responsive and had such good feedback to give. So really grateful that we have so many cool people who are always willing to, to help us in Common Stack. I'll pass to you, Ivy. Uh, thanks, Sam. Oh, uh, yeah, I want to praise all of you on conference volunteers, Federico, Saya, Adam, Jeremy, Robin, uh, Gail, Eduardo, I'm probably forgetting other names, and all of the advisors who helped us put together the uh, comprehensive and conference report. Uh, I want to praise Max and Yanesi for working so hard on all our projects in Trusted Seed. I want to praise the Trusted Seed board and advisors, Jeff, Chris, Letty, and Maffer for coming to our board meeting every month and um, providing your invaluable insights before we make uh, any important decisions. And also I want to praise Lauren and Zeptimus for being always available to help and provide answers to my questions around grants. Uh, I pass it to you, Amelia. Thank you, Ivy. So I'll finish the praising. And I want to praise first uh, Jean, Jean from Decentralized Desire, and Letty and Esther. The three of them were rock stars by creating amazing workshops and activities during the uh, Refi side events on the Paris Blockchain Week. That was so much um, insightful and inspiring. So thank you so much for that hard work. And I also like to praise Vincent for, for from Cardashift. Cardashift, he made sure that we got everything that we need. Uh, also co uh, got amazing food, really nurturing. So thank you for that, uh, Vincent. And also Jack from Blockchain for Good. He was really generous in sharing all their knowledge and all the research that they have been, they have been doing for a long time. And of course, I would like to praise Monty for joining from RefiDAO for joining me on the network mapping. It was great to work with him. Um, that's it for me. I'll pass it back to Griff to close this or what. Yep. <laughs> and I, I have to cheat. I have to cheat and add a couple more. I want to praise Sam a lot for hacking with me on like building iteration one and of the of the common stack framework figuring out how we're what we're going to change from the tc to make it easy to deploy many of these things all at once and uh we were hanging out in barcelona together just 
hacking all night uh, after calls from till like two, three in the morning, many nights in a row. So it was really fun. So major praise goes to Sam. And I got to praise Vitor for taking the, the other side of it. You know, Sam really manages our smart contract framework design and our architecture there. And Vitor has been uh, instrumental in helping us understand how much work it'll be to build the front ends and, and the actual, like what people, the interfaces for everything that, that, uh, that Sam is building as well as of course the uh the the uh configuration dashboards so major praise to Vitor and Sam and major praise to you for actually uh listening to this entire uh, common stack review uh we really appreciate it uh we put these out there to so that you can stay updated on what we're doing and why it's important uh make sure to get out there and donate on Gitcoin grants not just to us but to all of the awesome projects out there and we will see you in a month Thank you. Bye, everyone.